how a life in a sailboat works. This is the best place to be in a zombie apocalypse. Welcome to another video. Is it the perfect life? Besides not pay for the rent, you're free to just say whatever you want in the world and just in case of an apocalypse like the series The Last of Us, your life doesn't change anything. But how is this life in fact? Actually, this is not my boat. This is Adriano's boat and he has this boat life for seven years. Yeah, I, I, there's no other life for me. I just want to live on boats. But first, a quick tour on the boat. So can you show us a little bit of your boat? Well, we have the helm. That's probably the most important thing in the boat. It gives us direction. Yes. Yeah? We have a chart plotter that gives us our position and the surroundings. So we know the depth of if there are rocks mm -hmm. or any danger that we can face. And a sonar too. So we can know the depth, not by only by the charts, but we are actually measuring. Yes. And we have here the anemometer that tell us where the wind is coming from, the direction of the wind, and the speed of the wind too. Uh, in knots, we have now four knots. That is about eight or seven kilometers. And here we have another sonar, the, another source of depth for us. And here we have the autopilot. So we can read, uh, cook, while the boats uh, go straight in, in our cars. Cool. All right, so this is the outside of the sailboat, but how it looks like the house inside the boat. Let's go. All right, we are now inside the house, and can you show us uh, a quick tour of how it is? Of course, it's just uh, like a regular house, but everything is tiny. So we have a tiny kitchen, and we have refrigerator, and the sink to, to wash your dishes. This stove is a little different because it swings, because when you sail, sometimes you are not straight, so it have to, to accommodate everything you are still in here cooking. And a very curious thing that I, I think is that you have the engine inside the house on your living room. Yeah, you have to love engines, you know, because uh, <laughs> you are always with them, but they're inside this box here, so they does not vibrate or makes a lot of noise, it's okay. And when you have to do maintenance, you can do a coffee here and do and maintenance, <laughs> it's easy and nice. <laughs> cool. yeah, so it works well. And the most interesting part that this engine is not only used to move the boat, but also to hit the water for cleaning up. And this is a boat, it has a very limited space. So you need to make the most of any space that you have. Like, this is the first bedroom. Imagine sleeping here every day with the boat swinging and you just need to put your hands straight and you can reach the top of the room. And there's not only one bedroom, but two bedrooms. But how does the toilet work inside a sailboat? Hi, so welcome to the toilet. So it's basically an airplane bathroom. Let's make a real tour. So this water can be used for the sink and as well for the bath. Here you have the mirror and then you have the flush that uses the sea water. Just like that. And this is a very, very little bathroom. And how it works with the electricity when you're in the middle of nowhere, like most of the times, how do you make electricity? Well, uh, these solar panels provides li like 90% uh, of our energy and if it's a sunny day, there's no need to worry. But if there are two or three cloudy days, we need to turn the generator on. Mm -hmm. And we have a gasoline generator and in order to charge the batteries. And he has the Starlink, this uh, internet from Elon Musk that you can use everywhere in the world. Can you explain to us a little bit of the how it works for you on your boat? Yeah, it's a game changer because we used to, to rely on 4G and sometimes good, sometimes it's not. But they have the uh, data cap mm -hmm. and the data cap is awful for us mm -hmm. because we work with internet, we have uh, a huge traffic of data. So uh, the Starlink has no data, data cap, mm -hmm. so it's perfect and works um, in the water uh, and shaking and swinging and with rain. When there's too much rain, sometimes uh, you have a, a little spike, something mm -hmm. that don't work, but it works like 99.99% of okay. the Now we're officially sailing. We just put the sail up and we're moving. This is not like your car, that you just turn the key and you have the car on. 
here you need to put your muscles to work and do a lot of mechanic stuff. The good part is that you don't spend any gasoline, it's totally free. And most of the time it's a very pleasure and silent way. And the interesting fact, this speed that we are now, it's four knots. And this speed is like eight kilometers an hour. And the Portuguese people, the English people, when they're sailing the world like 200, 500 years ago, they crossed the world eight kilometers an hour. So it's very, very slow, but no stopping. That's why I say that in the zombie apocalypse or like the series The Last of Us, in the end of the world, this is the best place you can be. It's not in a bunker, it's not in a big house, it's not in a farm, because when you're on the land and your only way to transportation is your car, all the roads will be blocked and everything will be dangerous and the zombies will be on the land too. But here, man, you're self-sustainable with your own electricity, your own wind to transport and you can fish to have water. So the zombie apocalypse will be like nothing for you. When you hear about that someone is living on a sailing boat, you can already imagine a drunk pirate with no legs. But most of the times, it's just like this. Making barbecue with your friends, enjoying the nature. E aí, pessoal, churrasco no barco. Quase que é um churrasco na laje, né? Só que melhor. Or even just staying at home inside and cozy, playing cards and watching Netflix. Cinco dados, tem quatro quadras. Duvido. <laughs> or even working. It's a very, very satisfying way of life. Even though the storm can stop this way of life sometimes. <laughs> Só chover, olha só como é que tá aqui o, o cenário ali fora. O que você tem que fazer na chuva, hein, mano? Você tem que... eu, eu tava amarrando a capa aqui e larguei mais âncora. Se, se tiver bastante vento, é bom ter bastante âncora. Uh -huh. E fora isso, vai ficar lá dentro, quieto. Tranquilo. E aí, só fazendo tudo o que tem que fazer. Boa. So, what are the routine things that you have to do on your boat? from 15 to 15 days, is to clean underneath your boat. So this helps your boat to save more fuel and it goes faster on the sea. Vai rolar aqui um linguine ao ragu. E, cara, não tem molho pronto aqui não, eu faço molho. Tudo bem que tomate pelado, né, mas eu faço molho. <laughs> how much it is to live on a boat. Adriano made a research with more than 1,000 people to answer this question. And can you tell us how much it is for sustain your life on a boat like this? To buy the boat and how much the average you spend a month? Well, that changes a lot depends, depending on the lifestyle of, of each one. But here in Brazil, in a, a research that I made with more than 100 people, uh, we, get, we got an average of about one thousand dollars, a little less than one thousand thousand dollars. Actually, uh, qua, uh, four thousand and six hundred reais each month mm -hmm. for a couple. Uh, that is the average of a big city for a couple to mm -hmm. live here in Brazil. But it, it, it changes a lot from country to, town, to country. Okay, and how much is the average to buy to buy the boat in Brazil? It's about four hundred uh, four thousand hundred reais. Mm -hmm. uh, 400,000 reais, which is around $80,000. Yeah, yes. We stay two days inside Adriano's boat, and it's a very, very peaceful way of life. It's very interesting to see other ways of life, how people live their lives. And Adriano lives his life very, very peacefully, in a very strong contact with the nature every single day. It's a very beautiful way of living, and this is the life on a boat. See you on the next video. Parei de reclamar, a vida vai passar. Não vou ficar mais nessa. Olha pro lado e vê quem anda com você. Você tem que abraçar. Você não anda bem, precisa relaxar. Precisa de uma praia. Um pôr do sol na praia. Um pôr do sol à beira-mar Você 
Can you show us a quick tour of how it is? Of course, it's just uh, like a regular house, but everything is tiny. And so we have a tiny chicken, a, 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 a kitchen. <laughs> so, here, 